Game of lifestyle, so games is what I'm playing. Game on that six four, so you know I stay game. Game my phone live, then you know I start raping. Game wake up in the morning, turn on the PlayStation. Game playing, playing, playing till my game start breaking. Game I'm a damn nerd, so boys stop hating. Game I'm still gaming. Game she's still gaming. Game we all still gaming, so games is what I'm playing. Don't test me, yeah you know I'm going pro. You say you play football, I play. Halo. I'm gaming all night and you know I'm about to play I bought a new game so I'm skipping class today Hey everyone, Classic Game Freak here and I wanted to go ahead and kind of follow up to yesterday's video with this video First off, the TurboFire 2 EVO controller that I showed you guys I had to take back this morning It quit working altogether so, do I recommend that controller? No, not at all. Avoid it. It may look flashy, it may look cool, but it's bulky as hell, and if I remember correctly, Daytel's not very known for quality products. So, took it back and went with tried and true. So, um, got an overly expensive DualShock 3 controller with the, uh, digital camo print on it so you know that's cool um, I was really hoping for that controller to work because like I said I really liked the the mapping the the button mapping on it I was really that, that's what sold me on it and to have it not work that sucked so I'm opening this for the first time this isn't even really an unboxing I'm just kind of opening this up while I'm talking to you all because everybody who owns a PS3 knows what the what these controllers look like and how they work but I didn't know that they didn't include a charger plug with it or a charger cord with it which is kind of for lack of a better word kind of gay huh I have an overabundance of them anyway but man this controller actually feels real nice I love the the texture of it it's really like you can if you can hear that it's it's new oh that feels good I like that this is nice so yes uh, digital print I really dig it my wife was like ooh digital print I want it she's from a military family her dad served 25 years her brothers uh, going through training so she's big into military and camouflage and everything me too so anyway the real reason for this video is a shout out video. I haven't done one of these in some time and I have a few people to shout out to. And it varies from people who's you know done trades with me and whatnot. I, I'm not gonna list everybody here. I've got a few few names that I picked out earlier. And um, I appreciate what you all have to say. I appreciate you all's video, your videos. And uh, I hope to see more. So first off, First shout out goes to my brother from another mother, Scuba Diver Picker. Me and him talk on a daily basis on over the phone, texting. Uh, we're, we're always kicking each other's ass on Modern Warfare, giving each other a hell of a hard time, talking about trades, everything like that. So straight up, Scuba, great guy, great guy to trade with. If if you know you're about to do a trade with him, cool guy. Uh, I'm glad we definitely kind of became brothers, you know, so definitely with that. Next person uh, is another actually guy I've done a few trades with, Head Above Water 3. Uh, he's changing his channel a little bit since he's moved. He can't really do the dumpster dives that he could before. I'm assuming maybe he'll get lucky and find another GameStop he finds a lot of good stuff in. I don't know, but uh, great channel. He just did a video the other night, which, which was, what is your favorite uh game cover what's the, your favorite art on a game cover and um you all probably saw the video i posted in response to that so a uh, great channel picked up a lot of subscribers for those dumpster dives but had a lot of morons commenting on his pages or uh, his videos which kind of sucked so yeah uh next guy azul garano 14 wi-fi if i'm it, it's it's funny because anytime i take a break from YouTube, I always end up getting a message from him. Hey man, how you doing? What's going on? You know, haven't heard from you in a while. 
So it's, it's good to know that people are there like, hey, where where did he go? What's what's going on? So uh, always unboxes some good stuff, some good games, uh, some figures. He, he's got a few figures that he's unboxed that I was really just kind of blown away with. Um, so he's always got a lot of good stuff. He, he has a lot of good stuff in his collection. Check him out on YouTube here. Uh, next person, I got to go with VG Soundtrack Guy. Um, he could really use some more subscribers, I think. Uh, with some more comments and so on. Uh, he tries really hard to come up with some good videos, and he does. Uh, you know, he, he's a good trader as well. I went, uh, last week, I went to donate to him the Silent Hill Homecoming soundtrack. Because I had it here, and I've had it wrapped forever. Just offered it to him. He ended up coming back with those Nintendo cartridges that you saw me unbox last week. So, for him to donate those to me was really cool. So, I have to th throw him up on this on this uh, video. So, check him out. Uh, next, fairly, fairly new uh, user to me. I subscribed to him a few weeks ago. And um, he's he actively comments on my videos, and I get a kick out of him. He watching his videos always seems to make me laugh. He always says something that makes me just crack up. The other day, it was him talking about ultraviolet movies and talking about like Bella in uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. So uh, okay, Chief 420. I've mentioned him. A uh, great YouTuber, always has a lot of cool things to say, a lot of cool things to show. Uh, crazy game room, not not game room, but his action figure room, fully loaded. That's that's awesome. So his room, his action figure room, very pleasing to the eye. Next person, um, you know, she, I, I I love her videos. She's always got some funny stuff to say. Uh, she's always got cool stuff to show. And um, it's always a pleasure to watch her videos or see her comment, and that's uh, I Try to Help. She, you know, she, lately, like, I saw her do some of the Perler bead art, and it made me kind of want to do it because I like that repetitiveness and things like that, even something as goofy as that, you know. But um, she's always got some cool stuff to show. Uh, I think I saw her doing a Let's Play of, of Pokemon, if I'm correct. I don't remember which one because there's so many out there. But, um, you know, it, watching her videos and seeing what she has to say, she's always got something kind of cool to say, especially in, like, my last video. So, um, thank you. Check her out, obviously. Uh, next guy, I recently started doing trades with him, and now he's after the, the night vision goggles, as well as my RC car, my RC XD car. Uh, TKS John Films. I'm looking forward to playing some Modern Warfare with him on PS3. He's added me on the PS3, and uh, but I don't know. He's got a pretty pretty rock and kill death ratio, whereas mine's kind of <laughs> low. So uh, hoping to play some with him. I did a great trade with him a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, very very easy to do a trade with. He had his trade out like that even before I could get my trade to him. Cool guy to talk to, um, very easy to trade with. Him and I are talking back and forth about a trade and we're sending videos back and forth. And Very cool guy. Uh, a lot of cool finds on eBay too. Um, just last night I saw him post a video that he got like 25 PS3 remotes. So um, yeah, definitely check him out. And then the last one, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw him up there since him and I did a trade a couple weeks ago about the same time sent me four awesome games and I love them to this day uh, especially Need for Speed The Run I, I actually find, found that I'm enjoying that game like crazy so uh, Drew Rod 2223 um, great trader uh, he actually texts me every so often but I think that I, I just remembered that the other night he texted me and I meant to message him back uh, Drew Rod sorry I didn't respond man uh, but you know, he he's real cool. He's always bugging me about getting uh, Black Ops on the PS1, or the PS1, the PS3. But I have it on the, I'm borrowing it on the Xbox. And with Black Ops 2 just around the corner, nah. I don't need Black Ops 1 on the PS1. I'm, s PS1, God, why do I keep saying that on the PS3? 
So why only have it for that couple of months when I have Modern Warfare 3 for now? I know they're two different two different things, but with Black Ops 2 coming out soon, yeah, I'll just wait. So those are the people I have to, to say thank you to. Uh, if not for trades, for the videos you post, or for the comments you make, and you've really stood out to me. Um, I, it's always a joy to see comments from you all and and say something and I'm I'm honored to have such cool friends on YouTube uh, Also to anybody who's subscribing. Thank you very much uh, It's very cool to see new subscribers and my numbers jumping up little by little um, as I said before I didn't expect the the subscribers to be so many like I have 260 subscribers right now, so Thank you very much. Uh, this is to all of my subscribers. Thank you very much. Even if you don't comment, if you just watch the videos and you you put a like on my on my videos, thank you very much. Uh, I really really do appreciate it. Uh, my YouTube is always up now, so <laughs> thank you everybody. So with that, I've got more videos coming soon. I have my Nintendo Top Ten I'm working on. I've got actually a couple of reviews I'm actually working on trying to get some video for those and they should be up soon so check back here. Uh, hopefully work won't interfere too much with those and I can get them up quickly sooner than later. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, stay cool. Keep the comments coming and uh, I'll see you all next time. Cheers.